In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring a set of Corsa up to 2021 standards in regards to graphics, time cycling, dynamic weather, online matchmaking, and even a cool radar app. Let's check it out. I'm Captain Nasties. Welcome to the 12 Before is a YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to start out with, you know, just purchasing a set of Corsa. Then we're going to talk about Content Manager, which is a new launcher that is pretty much a requirement nowadays for this game. If you're going to play it online and take advantage of all the mods and wonderful things as a set of Corsa continues to be developed uh, by the modding community. We're going to install Shader Patch. We're going to install Soul, which is the weather app. Uh, we're going to show you how to get into online ranked matchmaking. And then we're going to show you how to install one radar app. i briefly talk about modding. So it should take less than five minutes to install the stuff. Then we'll go through how to do some of the configurations. So first of all, if you buy a set of Corsa, make sure you get the ultimate edition. If you do not have all the content, you can't even join the race. So it is important to get a set of Corsa ultimate. It's always 40 bucks on Steam. Uh, it goes on sale for like 10 bucks, 12 bucks pretty regularly. Uh, if it's not on sale on Steam, you want to save a couple bucks, you can get it on other sites. I've had good luck with this site at Gamivo here. Uh, again, you can see it's typically like 13 bucks on here for the ultimate edition. The key thing is you want to make sure the region is global and that the platform is Steam. Uh, if you're going to go this route uh, and, and save a couple bucks there. So that's the that's how to get a set of course. So now most people probably already have a set of course. So let's talk about how to get content manager. So, uh, oh, I should say all the links will be in the description of this video as well. So you're going to go to the content manager website. You're going to click here, download directly to save time. I've already done that. You can see here it's in my downloads. Just called latest here, which is kind of interesting. Don't need to buy WinRAR and let's close this. And you're gonna run this EXE here. So the main thing, so there's a couple things you gotta do here. Right here it says a set of course a root folder. So this is where a set of course lives. It's where all your Steam games are gonna be installed. You'll wanna confirm that this is correct. It should auto populate correctly, um, but you will wanna confirm this for your Steam ID. Um, it should automatically figure out this as well. But again, you, you can configure that for your name. You can just make it whatever you want. Uh, for the rest of these plugins and all this stuff, I don't, you know, 7-Zip's fine, but uh, you don't really need any of these. I, I don't install any of this stuff. I've been using Content Manager for several years now. So what we're going to do here is just click OK. Uh, I like to actually leave, even I like to leave um, the, the hints on. So now we're in Content Manager. There's a ton of stuff here. I have another video. I'll post a, a little tab right here on, on how to get to kind of do a lot of stuff in content manager this is just about installing and getting this stuff running so the next thing you want to do is switch to full version and what you do to get the full version uh is see where it says get app key just click a set of course of club here where it says support us here there you go you could just pay with paypal I've already done that. Then what happens is he sends you an automated email. If you want to find the email or you need to find it later, you just search ILJA and it comes up. So obviously I've got a few things on the screen kind of blurred out here um, for my own security. So we'll just pop our key in there. Hit OK. Thank you. The app will be restarted. We can minimize this stuff. Move that to the archive close this updates for mods so this is again just telling you some cool little hints here so the next thing you're going to want to do is to set up custom shaders patch so you're going to go settings you're going to go here to custom shaders patch it says you know do you want to install yes please okay so what you will see here uh, is custom shader patch. So I recommend going with the recommended version currently on uh, 11 2020. That is 1.60. There's they're always updating this stuff, and you can see that it, you know some of it's buggy, and the community kind of tests it. I like to just stick with the recommended version personally. Uh, for update automatically, you want to click Do Not Auto Update so it doesn't automatically do that. So that is essentially what you do there. Uh, I have another video on how to configure like all the different settings in Content Manager uh, for graphics and stuff. I'll post a, a little tab to that video up here as well so we don't uh, make this video like 45 minutes long. So now we've got Custom Shaders Patch and we've got Content Manager. Let's go ahead and install Soul. So Soul is on Race Department and you can see here all you do is just click download. So again, to save some time on this video, I've already downloaded it. So we'll just go ahead and open that download. We'll go ahead and open the install guide here too, because 
this is something you're going to need to actually uh, pay attention to. So you'll see you got a folder here called mods, so 1.62.155. And you're going to want to go back to that root folder. So this is kind of like how you mod a set of courses. So, you know, if you need to find your root folder, you know, you don't know where it's at. You need to, you know, figure out where your Steam stuff is installed. So for me, it's on the D drive. I go to D drive, Steam, Steam apps, common. Open this up so you can see all that. And you'll see right here, a set of course up. So, this is where you're going to install a lot of your mods. I'll cover that later in this video on just how to mod a set of course in general. But for Soul, we're going to take all of these four folders. We're going to drop them into the set of course or root folder. And they kind of distribute themselves the way they the way they need to. I'm going to replace the files. Sorry, click replace there. I know I kind of boogered that, that whole deal up there clicking that. Okay, so we're not done setting up content manager or setting up a Soul here. Open up the install guide. So we're going to keep the install guide on the side here. Whoa, on the side here. And then we're going to open up Content Manager like next to it here. Okay, so this is going to tell us a lot of stuff we kind of already know about what stuff we just did in terms of installing Content Manager. So it says essentially just drag those, you know, where we dragged them. And the first thing we're going to want to go here is to lighting effects. And you want to switch this brightness right here to 100. So make sure that's on 100. So the next thing here is, oh yeah, weather effects. So you got to make sure this is activated because that's the whole point of Soul, right? Is weather effects. Now for the script, there are two different ones. Uh, 1.61 here uses 3D clouds. And if you have a really dope computer and you're not in VR, then I, I recommend this for sure. If you're in VR... Um, I have a 2080 uh, and a 9900K overclocked, and I still run the 2D clouds just because I like to have the headroom for other places in a set of Corsa in terms of frame rate and turning up other settings. So I, I run it like that. Uh, let's see, what are they telling us to do here? Make sure the extension is active. And uh, I like to use, if no date set, use original sun trajectory here, but that's not, not, not a too big of a deal. Okay, what's next here? Yeah, troubleshooting. We don't really need to worry about that. The next thing we want to do is go to content. Sorry, settings, set of Corsa, video. Need to make this bigger. And you want to make sure that your post processing filter that it's enabled and that it's set, you know, that you select underscore soul is what you want to select there. So that's the next part of the install. What do you want us to do next here? Uh, this is like troubleshooting stuff and how to mess with the app in game. It's really not all that important right now. Okay, so this should already be set up like this uh, to begin with, but let's make sure. So if you go, what is this? Uh, track configs. So you can see where it's installed all this stuff here. Where is this? Oh, the little three little dots here. So make sure this says install automatically recommended. That way it'll update all the tracks with like the lights, the actual track lights and, and all the, these like VAO packs as well. Same thing with track VAO. Want to make sure that the install automatically is checked. Uh, for car configs, you know, same deal. So make sure that's, you know, for car configs, install automatically. Video settings, okay, we already did that app settings. So this is so you can actually see the apps in the game. So the apps in the set of course, you cannot see until you're on the track and you've clicked start and you're either sitting in the pits or you've rolled out of the pits. You just scroll your mouse over the right side of the screen and you can change like what's actually on the screen, like HUD and things like that. So we're going to go to settings, a set of course, uh, apps, and we want to make sure that soul weather app is checked and soul config here as well. Like it says in the instructions, uh, the next one is going to be content manager settings. We're going to go to drive. And they want us to have overwrite default PP filter in VR. 
and then they want us to have only one of these. So only the bot you use custom weather particles do not have these other two checked uh, for extended weather. Now the rest of these are prefer preferred custom shaders patch settings for Sol. Uh, let's just take a quick look here and see. I want to use the new paint shader. So this stuff is more optional, you know, essentially, essentially here. Uh, it, it's more about like tweaking the tweaking some of the stuff. So again, for this is really, we've got it installed. You're going to have time cycling. It's all going to work. We're done. And it looks like we're good to go there. So we've got, we've got the hard, you know, essentially the hard stuff done uh, with, with soul, you know, shaders patch, content manager, all that good stuff. Uh, there's a lot to learn about this. The last thing I want to show you that's really important uh, is another app that I think is just like critical for Assetto Corsa. Uh, and it's called Gila Corsa. So this is this car radar app. So let's go ahead and download this real quick because this one you install, it's a little bit funny how you install it. Oh, no, it's not. It used to be funny. It is no longer, no longer funny. So again, you're going to go to your root folder and I recommend, you know, make a shortcut to that root. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in this video, but you're going to want to make a shortcut to this common folder. So you can just click it right here and then bam, you're right in your root folder right from the desktop. So you're just going to select those two uh, folders and drag them into the Assetto Corsa root folder uh, to install Helicorsa there. And then that will uh, be done. Now, one thing you're going to have to do then is go into settings Settle Corsa apps and make sure that Gila Corsa is checked so it actually shows up as an app that you can turn on once you're on the track. So uh, that's the basics. Just okay. So when it comes to modding a set of Corsa, you can do it through Content Manager, but I'd like to honestly do it the uh, the manual way. Uh, I think it's just at the end of the day, I think it's actually more more straightforward once you learn how to do it because you don't have to worry about a mod not being packaged correctly and then not being installed correctly. Uh, by content manager. So like we saw before, uh, if you have a content folder here, right, cars, so this has got some BTCC cars in it. Uh, you just drag this content folder into this Assetto Corsa root folder. So this is your root folder right here. Again, this is in that Steam Steam Apps common area. Uh, if you open up a mod download and it looks like this, it has KN5 files, you know, in it. So this is a track. Uh, then this one, you got to do a little bit more work. So you go into the Assetto Corsa folder and then you go to content. And if it's a track like this one is, you drag it into tracks. If this was a car and you open it up and it had KN5 files and it didn't look like a content folder, then you just would drag it into cars. Uh, and that's it. It's it's real easy to mod Assetto Corsa. It's real easy to get going uh, on it. Uh, and it's just a, a super great program. So now that we've got that stuff covered, Let's take a look at how to get into online ranked matchmaking. So obviously there's, you know, just open servers for a set of course. If you just go to online here, a bunch of stuff is going to populate. You know, if you uncheck missing, it'll show you every server for stuff. you. So if you want to find servers, that's like stuff, you know, that you've got, you're not going to find servers you can't get into, you know, click, make sure missing is not showing you tracks of stuff you don't have. You know, again, if you want to see the rest, this is really the only one that kind of matters for this. Uh, there's a refresh button down here, I should say, that's pretty important to know about. Uh, and there's also, if you click here, you can add it to favorites, which I, I really, really like to do as well. Uh, let's get into online ranked matchmaking. So for that, you're going to go to live. And you're going to go, there's two options right now. World Sim Series is a new one. Uh, it seems like, well, let's install that. Um, it's up and coming. I think it's going to be really cool, but it's just not, you know, I race a lot of SRS because it's been around forever. I've already got like a ranking and a rating on there and all that good stuff. Uh, so here's what World Sim Series looks like. Let's go to let's go to SRS over here. So if it's your first time in SRS, it's goofy to sign up for it. Uh, and I'm going to try to help explain to you why. So what you're going to want to do here is click, you know, register. Right, you go through, you fill out all this junk, you click agree, you go through you know, whatever the process is here. I already have a name, so I'm not gonna go through that, but inevitably what happens is your account will not actually get activated. So what you need to do is send an email to Enrique at simracingsystem at gmail.com and send him your name and you know ask him where your you know your activation link is. And what I've been told recently is he's asking for uh, identification to sign up, which sounds like crazy, right? Well, what he's trying to do is prevent people that have been banned from rejoining sim racing systems. So 
you know, you can cover up your address. All you need to have is your name and a picture of you on there. And he'll activate your account because he wants people to use their real world names so they can't just like drive like assholes and then get banned and then come back and troll people. So I know it sounds goofy. That turns a lot of people off. I get it if that's a deal breaker for you. But let me tell you, SRS is awesome. It's totally worth it. There's a really good, you know, community of people there. And there's racing every hour in a variety of different cars. Uh, you can see, you know, some of that stuff here. So that that's really about it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully it wasn't too long. My name is Captain Nasties. Uh, if you're over the age of 25 and you want to find some people to come and sim race with, come find us in Discord. That's what this is all about. This is Captain Nasties. Out.